welcome back. Our special guest is Junior X. Welcome to Wagwan. <laughs> okay, Junior X, tell the Wagwan fans, who is Junior X? Well, this is Junior X, you to come by the scene in 2005 with the hit song. Oh, plead my cause, oh, ja, and let me stand for a worm. I don't know what they are again for continuing the saga, you see? Okay, you had freedom, freedom and seek your goal. Seek your goal. Yeah. So you, I guess the, the voice match with the face for those who do not know, I never know. All right, what type of child you were at school? A, were you a loner, a teacher's pet, a troublemaker? <laughs> what, what, <laughs> what type well, of child? Well, I did everything, all the above, you know? Okay. Yeah, because in school, we used to, you know, you can't just, them all work now, play with Jack and Dolma, play mm -hmm. with Dolma, and them tell the man vibrant and busy. You yeah, understand? So you used to give trouble to next? No, no, really. But you say both. You say yeah. every, one. No, you <laughs> say you say give trouble. You can't let this be trouble among your friends, but you don't know, upset the class, you know? Okay. And you know that education is important. Mm -hmm. you know? All right. How did your professional um, musical career start or begin? Well, the professional musical thing started back in um, when I was about 16, 15, 16 apart. My music mode, you know, I was there with this producer called Dennis Wright. Mm -hmm. You know, and there and then we used to work on some producers, Mikey and Simo, you know, and they helped me to really, you know, perfect the art to what it is today. Okay, but while in school, did you realize that you had this gift in you? Yeah, <laughs> I realized before high school, from in a primary school days, you know? Okay. I used to like love to write poems and them stuff, you see? Mm -hmm. So, our cousin he used to sing, you know, he can't walk, so he used to take a poem them and turn them in a song. In a song, so okay. So, if he might use my thing, and he might get all girl with the thing too. Okay. Yeah, so <laughs> if he might do them thing there, I can do it myself. So, yeah. we start with melody to the words and we realize it, you know, it's nice working, and, yeah. yeah. Okay. So, who, who would you say opened that door for you in the music industry? Well, everything started, you know, with Dennis Wright, then about music. Now, I would say it started right there, but right, yeah. professionally, I would um, say Herb's House Entertainment, you know, they are the ones that got the light to shine on Julian X. Okay. So, which notable producers you have worked with? Well, so far, I work with, you know, Simo, Mikey Spence, work with Sly and Robbie, work with Bobby Digital, mm -hmm. and a few others, Man, okay. Rick Mann, you know. But like Sly and Robbie, they are international Massive, producers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Dave Kelly are also. So what experience have you gained so you can add that to your career by working yeah. with all these known producers? You learn to be professional and it's sharp when you have inside. Okay. Yeah, you know better how to do stuff, yes, and vocally and professionally, you know. Plead, plead my cause is is a song where you, a lot of persons don't know the face, but it's a popular song, yeah. both here in Jamaica and internationally. Yeah. How did you come about the concept, and who work alongside you with this song? Well, I mean, the most time. Okay, as the song says. Yeah, from, from ever since I'm here and because, you know, mm -hmm. as a youth coming up, you know, I grew up without a father, you know, I have my mother beside me. And she yeah. was like the only person I know, you know, the only person I have. Yeah. So it's like in 2000, she took sick, you know, and then she died you know, wow. from cancer. Okay. So there and then I was left alone, you know, sometimes you, you, you're left alone with family, mm -hmm. you know, family can get. Some people that's the color of my bad mind, you know? Yeah. So it's like you'd have to take the street for it as me as a survivor. So being out there in the street you know, you come across the good, the bad and the worst. And the indifference. Yeah, so the worst. <laughs> the worst, yeah. okay. The bad and the worst, you know. Yeah. So you know, even though I come across them, I still never fear because you never give me the spirit of fear, you know. Right. But at the same time still me know so me alone couldn't come back to all of them. So I just pray to the most and say, Father God, don't plead my cause out John. And I'm at a fact too. He said me write the song that it was a night, you know, a late night. You know. Okay. Yeah. When you're under the meditation. I want to say it was even a meditation. It was just the, 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 the pressure from everything, you know. Oh. You know, you lose your mommy. Mm -hmm. You don't have nobody to talk and she was like my greatest, my best friend, you know. Then the morning now is like you have a little like a playground in front of the, the apartment that I was staying. And now during the days, 
the, the children that were over there picking fruits. So, you know, I was up here seeing, and then we noticed this large gathering. Oh. All the youths just get on a one train and look upstairs. Mm -hmm. And then we said to myself, so just Yeah, mad. I guess what you say, when it comes to children, yeah. if them love it, it take off. Yeah. <laughs> and then show me the sign for yeah. the day, you know. Mm -hmm. And then we just continue to join and do the thing with a clean heart and, mm -hmm. and a straight love for people, you know. Okay. You know what? With that clean heart, as <laughs> Junior X says, we will take a break, we'll soon come back. Stay yeah. put.